I dinged it up a little bit. Practice yesterday, I'm gonna practice today. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I'm behind though, especially this weekend. When you forced that fumble against Tennessee, were you like ama kind of amazed at like how high the ball went? Man, I didn't even know the ball was going that high. I just, I just knew I just needed to make a tackle. And the next thing I know, the ball flew up out of his hand and just went there. So, that was a big play for us. You're the team leader in tackles at this point in the season. Is that, would that surprise you if it told you that before the year? Yeah, a little bit because knowing how Landon gets to the ball and Trey and all the other guys get to the ball, yeah, it's a surprise to me a little bit. Is preparing for LSU a lot like preparing for Arkansas or is there a difference in there? Uh, they're about the same. Both of them real big teams, physical teams that love to run the ball. You just got to st strap up and just be ready to play. You guys get a lot of rest during the bye week. You study film, but does it kind of interrupt the flow? If you're in a good rhythm, can, it, can a bye week mess that up? No, kind of. Kind of, sort of, because you know I'm getting ready for a game, but during the bye week, you just practice and just got to stay up. So somewhat it can be, but if you keep the, the right mindset, it won't. They, th they run the ball a lot, but they throw the ball with efficiency, I guess. What do you, how do you stay this point in that run with it when they run so much? Uh, look at your keys and, and just notice some of the things that's not normally there when they run in the ball and just be ready for the pass. What kind of things they do in the passing game? Normal stuff. Just um, long read and just pass the ball. So it's not like that right now. I got to get ready for them. What are the problems that LSU quarterbacks present? Speed, they can run the ball. Their long read is difficult at times. And if you can't contain them, they get out and run the ball. What do you think this game means to some of the guys from Louisiana on the team, especially on the defense? Uh, it's, it's just like me for when we play Auburn. It's a big game for them. They can't go home. They got to have that bragging rights for 365. Do you, have you heard anything from Landon about us? He talking about this week being big for him? Uh, he's my roommate, so of course I'm, I'm going <laughs> to hear about it. It's, it's, all, it's a big game for him, and we, and we got to make sure we get the W for him. Were you there two years ago when you played? Oh, yeah, I was a freshman on kickoff. What do you remember? What do you remember about playing in that, that environment? You better be prepared and ready. It's loud in there. I know it. they just added on, so it's even louder in there. So, is, is it a different kind of place? Oh, yeah, it's, it's different from all the other places I've been to. It's the loudest place I've probably been to besides Brian Denny, but yeah, it's very loud and difficult. Do you kind of sense a, a change in the locker room with what you guys have coming up this month? Yeah, because it's, it's a big month for us. We got to we, we gotta win out, and we got to be real efficient as a team the whole way through. Is it important to you guys to know that you control your own destiny like you do after this past weekend? Yeah, sort of, but if we do what we're supposed to do, we'll be fine, I think. That was a big hit at the Tennessee with the, the fumble. Did, would you say, what would you say your biggest hit was of the year? Uh, no, I don't really know. I just, I just made a big play for my team to – Give us some momentum going up a little bit. From your position, what's the toughest thing about stopping a mobile quarterback? What's the toughest thing about stopping a mobile quarterback? Just look at the right stuff and just make sure you can contain them inside. And uh, everybody got to do their job. That's, uh, that's my way we can get that done. Has going up against Blake in practice helped you guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it helps us because he can get out and run. And, and we, we got to contain him in practice, too. And you know, he's real shifty. And, uh, and those quarterbacks are real shifty, too. So you got to be able to break down. And key him and just hit him. You kind of mentioned Collins before. How about uh, Tencel? Was he kind of chopping it to get out there this week? Oh, yeah. It's Big Ted been ready for the past two weeks. He's been practicing. And, he, and I know how he is. I, I got to keep him level headed. He's that crazy in the mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to keep him level headed and ready. Help, anything else? How much? Um... Nah, I don't ask him. <laughs> <laughs>